Joining me now, State Representative Donna Dukes, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, you have been fighting these corruption charges for the past couple of years. Many people calling for your resignation. Now the DA has actually dropped all of the charges. So what is your take on everything that's happened? Well, uh, the judge signed the orders today that dismissed all of the charges for lack of evidence in the interest of justice. I believe that from the very beginning this was more politicized than it was about truth because the law was very clear um, on uh, what rules, the House rules are those that we follow and the Constitution states that the House and the Senate are uh, bestowed certain powers that the courts are not able to intervene. Rule 80 at the Ethics Commission also states that the House and the Senate have laws pertaining to per diem that they have the authority to do based on the Constitution. So when you look at the statute where it defines what is considered state business, it defines it in full. One example is if you attend the funeral of a state employee, that's considered state business. That doesn't happen in the Capitol. Um, if you attend a committee hearing around the state, that's considered state business. If I walk across the street to one of the state agencies, that's state business. And that is allowable under the provisions of House rule and under the statute where the interpretation that the DA was getting, I don't know, because they never interviewed Steve Adrian, who's the executive director of the House Business Office, or Charlie Guerin, who's chair of House Administration. What they say, how they interpret it, is what the law is on Capitol Hill. Now, you say that they never interviewed them, but according to the DA's press release, it says that because of conflicting statements, conflicting information, that's why they decided to drop the case. You can't have conflicting statements or recanting of testimony if you never interviewed them. My attorneys acquired through discovery uh, the notes from the state auditor who allegedly interviewed someone at the house. All he had 18 months after he was supposed to have interviewed and this entire case was brought against me was the cover of the house rules with the yellow sticky note that had Steve Adrian's name written on it, IRS written on it, and a question mark. There was no audio, there was no affidavit, there was nothing to prove the alleged conversation he had 18 months prior. But what we had from a year prior was an interview that my attorneys did with Steve Adrian, and we had an affidavit that showed that I had properly interpreted the rules. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's a reporter named Lucius Lomax that doesn't work for anyone. He did a story. He went out and he interviewed uh, former speakers of the House, former lieutenant governors, uh, members. Um, he interviewed all these folks who know the rules on Capitol Hill. And all of them agreed that I was correct, DA was wrong. Now, if a reporter could go out and research that and look up the statute and get it right, why can't all the folks trying to indict me and trying to force me to resign look at the same facts. All right, Donna, what's next for you? I know you're going to have other Democrats who will be challenging you in the primaries in 2018. Do you think the constituents will give you the chance to work for them again? Let me tell you, I am so grateful to the constituents of District 46. They have stuck with me since the beginning. They believed me when I said at the very beginning of this that I was not guilty. And today, I am exonerated of every single one of those charges. So now that I've been through all of this, and they see how I have not only fought for myself, but over the years fought for them, 
and my health is so much better, they'll be back and I'll be back for re-election in next session. I have so many new ideas to work on to put before the House. All right, State Representative Donna Dukes, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.